Miles of lorries stuck in never-ending traffic. Getting to Lagos's port is a dangerous daily nightmare. Forced to sleep and eat in their vehicles, it can take weeks before drivers can drop off their cargo. Today making it one month and two weeks, three days, that I've been in this hold up. Still yet, I've not loaded. I've not dropped my empty, no money to feed, nothing, nothing. In fact, we are tired of this hold up. I'm not sleeping because once we sleep, they will steal our battery, our spare tire, draw our dad. They, will lose, they can lose anything in the motor, all those boys, bad boys. The port of Lagos is the main gateway for Nigeria's imports, generating 80% of its customs revenues. But poor management and a lack of maintenance are a source of concern for ship owners and businessmen. And now the roads are so bad, the dockers are finding it near impossible to continue working. Man work hour is reduced. It takes, yeah, it, a journey will take normally like 30 minutes, you now end up taking like six hours. And that's a huge, huge cost on, 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 for the personnel and for our own members. The government is regularly under fire for neglecting to improve the port's infrastructure, despite the launch of works to rebuild the roads. Meanwhile, the cost of extracting a container from the port is exploding, rising by 500% in just a few months. If the cost of delivery of some of these items continues to increase, the companies, as far as possible, will have to transfer the cost to their consumers. And that means an increase in prices. So it also has an inflationary uh, implication. It has effect on the welfare of the people. Plans to decongest the traffic by opening a deep water port are on the horizon. But until then, lorry drivers in their thousands will have to sit tight in Africa's biggest city's traffic jams.